What's up guys? It's me, Dayan. So, for today's video, i-model natin itong uh, Todd's Building Facade located in Tokyo. So, the building was designed by uh, Toyo Aito and Associates. So, without any further ado, let's go into the Revit. And so, bago tayo mag-start, I would like to uh, assign the project units. So, ang gagamitin ko po is meters, but still depend on you kung saan po kayo mas comfortable. So, punta tayo dito sa South Elevation. And then, select this grid. Then, let's edit this into 3 meters. Then, press CS or Create Similar. Choose Pick, um, pick Lines and then set 3 meters. Offset. 1, 2, Oops, 3. Ayan. So, and then, mag insert tayo ng image. This one. Oops, nalala. So, this image is from Bond Studio. So, yeah, by the way, let's continue. So, uh, you can use the arrow key para ma-align yung ating image. And then, press RE or Rescale. Press GR for bids. So, gagamit ako ng bids para sa reference natin mamaya. Okay. So, balik tayo dito sa level 1. So, add ulit tayo ng isa pang grid. And then, add walls. So, gagamitin ko ay uh, generic 300 and set this in up to level 5. Then, finish face interior. So, now, pun punta tayo dito sa south elevation. And then change the view into wireframe. And then go back again to level 1. And then command WA for wall. And then choose curtain wall. Go to edit type. And check the automatically embed. Okay. So, pagpunta tayo sa 3D, ito yung itsura na meron tayo ngayon. So, VG for visible, visibility graphics. And then, go into levels. So, hide ko muna to para hindi masyadong crowded. Then, Select the uh, curtain wall, so hit your tab key, and then select curtain wall, go here on south elevation, and then press edit profile. So, uh, itrace na natin ngayon yung ating pattern.
Then, hit finish. Then, pag pumunta tayo ng 3D, ito na yung view na meron tayo. Ayan. So, balik tayo ulit dito sa level 1. Ay, sorry. Balik ulit tayo dito sa 3D. And then, select all natin sila. And then, balik tayo sa level 1. Then, um, command rotate or RO for shortcut. And then, click the copy option. Then, rotate it by uh, 90 degree. So, we got this. So, align na lang natin siya dito. So, use shortcut align. AL for shortcut. Then, this one. And then, baba natin siya ng okay. Then, select again this one and then command this draw axis or DM for shortcut and find your midpoint. So, select since selected na to, command na lang natin is again DM for shortcut. And MM. Mirror axis. Oops, mali po pala. Sorry. DM again. Yeah. Then, pumunta na tayo sa 3D. Meron na tayong ganito. Then, go back again to level 1 to add some walls. Choose generic 300. Okay. And then go here in architecture tab choose floor select this rectangular shape check and then go here on 3D. Copy. Align selected elements. Select level 5. And then give the offset of 150 millimeters. Um, I know nakameter pala ako. Sorry. So, um, 0.15 meters. And then go here on level 2. Architecture tab and then hit floor. Again, so in this case, sa loob naman tayo maglalagay ng floor. Hit finish. And then go here, copy, paste, selected selected levels, and then hold your control key, and then select level 3 and 4. Hit OK. So, sa 3D natin, meron na tayo. Ganito. So, let's add some... text. So, go here on architecture tab, model text. Okay. Set a work work plane, pick a plane, and then select this wall. Model text again, and then tabs. Okay. Then place it like this. And you can edit the material, select the text, and then go here on material, paint this gypsum wall board, hit OK.
I think guys that's it for our today's video if you found this video helpful please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it will help me out a lot para makapagproduce pa ng mga ganitong helpful videos and guys if you have any suggestions or comments please leave that in the comment section thank you and god bless